I was looking at the stack of guitar picks I've got and extra strings and little tuning wrenches and things sitting on, the, on my desk and thought there's got to be a better way to make a little container for this stuff. So for this CNC project, really straightforward, really simple. This is just a guitar outline that I snipped online, brought it into Inkscape, and once you bring any image into Inkscape, go up to Path, Trace Bitmap, and then you can make a bitmap trace so you can do stuff for the CNC machine. So we had the outline, went and grabbed a snip of the fender name, brought that in, did the same kind of thing, went up to path and trace bitmap, resized it, and put it on here. And what this is going to be is this is going to be the top of our box. For the bottom of our box, we've got the same shape, and this is going to be a pocket, this inside. And the way we got this inside piece was to use a feature called Linked Offset. If we come up here to Path, and we go to Linked Offset, then it gives you a little diamond, and you can move the shape of your image inside or out. So we did that, drop this in here, and this is going to be the bottom part of our box or the pocket. These are just our tabs so that it stays on the CNC machine. This will be cut out of 3 quarter inch pine shelving, real cheap and easy stuff to work with. Both of these Inkscape images, both the top as well as the bottom, we're saved as individual SVG files in Inkscape. And then we'll open them up in a program called JS Cut for the tool paths. So swinging over to JS Cut. Really awesome free program. Runs in your browser or you can download it and run it locally. You can look at the 3D of our top fender name there and you can even see the little tab cuts, the tab cutouts on the back. For the settings, we're going to do this at about 60 inches per minute, which is pretty quick for this little CNC, but it's soft pine. Our depth of cut, 0 0.065. I'm using an eighth inch cutter, end mill. And for this one, we've just got two operations. We've got our outside operation, which is the outside cut, and our pocket, which is the fender name. For the inside of our box, we've just got our image, our SVG from Inkscape. Same parameters, same settings here. And for this one, also we've got an outside, which is our outside cut, and our pocket. save these as individual G-code files, which we've got down here, and open them up in mock. Just starting our outline. Working on the inside pocket. There's our bottom. Need to get this out, clean it up a little bit, and cut the top top piece. On the bottom, you can more clearly see those tabs. Tabs are really crucial keeping all this stuff together. This came out pretty clean, pretty close to what we designed in Inkscape. Here's our cutout before some cleanup. There's our top. Let's get this out and clean it up a little bit. And a couple coats of some shellac. That's the Fender guitar pick box. Came out kind of cool. 
this piece is of pine shelving and a little CNC project. As far as holding these two together, I'm using some very small rare earth magnets that hold really well. These guys are inexpensive and I went around the perimeter on the top and the bottom. You can kind of feel it snap in a little bit. Holds pretty well. In time this will get a nice kind of worn in patina to it. It's also easier to grab. It kicks kind of in a larger box. Easy project. Thanks very much for taking a look.